evening, we do bring you greetings from my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and Rock of Salvation. Today, I will be talking to you about racism and are you prejudiced? All right. So when we go into Genesis, the 13th chapter and 11th verse, it says, Then Lot chose him all the plain of Jordan, and Lot journeyed east. And they separated themselves the one from another. So we know that Lot lived in Jordan. All right, Genesis 21, the third verse. And Abraham called the name of his son that was born unto him, whom Sarah bare him, Isaac. All right? So the tenth verse says, Wherefore she said unto Abraham, Cast out this bondwoman and her son, for the son of this bondwoman shall not be heir with my son, even Isaac. So we know that the chosen came through the line of Abraham and Sarah. All right? Now, um, we know that Mesopotamia, so to 11, Genesis 11 and 3. Mesopotamia is in modern day Iraq. I'll take that back, 31, not 3. And Terah took Abram his son, and Lot the son of Haran his son's son, and Sarah his daughter-in-law his son, Abram's wife, and they went forth with, with them from Ur of the Chaldees to go in the land of Canaan, and they came unto Haran and dwelt there. So, Ur is modern day Iraq. Now, I'm going somewhere with this. Genesis 25 and 6. But unto the sons of the concubines which Abraham had, Meaning he had more than one concubine. Abraham gave gifts and sent them away from Isaac, his son. So he doesn't send uh, Ishmael away. Now he's sending his concubines and their children away while he yet lived. He did this while he was living. And they went eastward unto the east country. Amen. And we know Lot went east. Amen. So, um... In the second verse of 25, and she bare him Zimram, Tamat, let's do verse 2. And again, Abraham took a wife, and her name was Keturah. This was after Sarah had passed. And she bare him Zimram, and Jokshan, and Midian, and Midian, Midian, and Ishbak, and Shua. Midian is a descendant of Abraham and Keturah. All right? All right, Keturah is a Hebrew name. We know we can choose any name we want, but I'm choosing to believe that Keturah was of the same nation, Hebrew. And I'm going to tell you why. Because before he passed, Abraham told his servant to go back to his land and choose a wife for his son Isaac. He did not want his son to have a, a woman from where they were living at that time. Amen? So, Genesis 25 and 6 shows that um, Abraham sent Midian and his concubine sons away from him to the east. 5 says he gave everything to Isaac. And Abraham gave all that he had unto Isaac. Now, if it was such, how, another reason why I believe Keturah was Hebrew, if it bothered Abraham so bad that he didn't want his son Isaac to have a woman from that nation, why would he go take a wife from that nation? I believe he had a wife of his people as well, and her name to me is the evidence of that. All right? So Genesis 37 and 
and 28. Then there passed by Midianites, merchantmen, descendants of Abraham and Keturah. And they drew and lifted up Joseph out of the pit and sold Joseph to the Ishmaelite descendants of Abraham and Hagar. Glory to God. And if they was together, that tell you they hung out together. And we, we, I didn't look it up to see which way that Hagar went with Ishmael, but we know most of them went to the east. And if they hung together nine times out of ten, that Ishmaelites was in the what? East as well. Amen? For 20 pieces of silver, and they brought Joseph in to Egypt. All right? So now, Let's go to Exodus 2 and 16. Now the priest of Midian had seven daughters, and they came and drew water and filled the tribes to water their father's flock. Priest of Midian. Um, when you look on your map, I don't have time to do it today for this video. But you have a map in your Bible or you can look it up on your own time. Egypt was, this was Egypt and they came this way and this was Midian right here. Okay? Now, excuse me. Three and one says, Now Moses kept the flock of Jethro, his father-in-law, the priest of Midian, and he led the flock to the backside of the desert and came to the mountain of God, even Horeb. If y'all remember on the other video, I taught y'all about Horeb and Mount Sinai. They were the same mountain. All right? Just want to see what I can see on here real quick. No, that ain't it. Let's do it, Jesus. Time. All right, so and we're going to go to 4 and 19. And the Lord said unto Moses in Midian, Go, return into Egypt, for all the men are dead which saw thy life. Now, that Mount Horeb um, that we was talking about, so. This Egypt, this is Midian over to the far, the Red Sea is right there. So, is everything okay? So, that mountain is right here. You'll see Midian label right there. That mountain is right there. Then he was speaking, which is Mount Sinai, that he was speaking to God on. It wasn't far for him to travel to get to this mountain. All right? Midian, wait a minute, hold on, let me do your shot. I'm getting on here in my still. Let's see. One second. And it wasn't that far from Egypt, too. All right, so we know it's near and it's to the west, not that far. All right, let's go to verse 27 and 4. And the Lord said to Aaron, go into the wilderness to meet Moses. Now, Aaron is still a slave in Egypt. And he went and met him in the Mount of God. All right? And kissed him. So we know they kind of like met halfway. Amen. It wasn't far for either one of them to get to this mountain. So, um, this, this Midian is in Saudi Arabia and Jordan, near Palestine, Iraq, and Syria, and all that stuff right there together. One more just to see if I can see it on him. Yep. That's the Brother Romero, when you point to the side now, peninsula of Right here. Okay. And point to the Red Sea. Who come down the point? All right. And see Arabia right there? Yeah. All right. Because I want you to get this visual in this picture so you can follow where I'm going. So, 
Research shows that the Ethiopians, this is now Ethiopia. It was not Ethiopia back then. Okay? But they took that region over. All right? So, well, yeah, hold on, y'all. I'm following my little notes. All right, Exodus, Exodus 12 and 38. And a mixed multitude went up also with them, and flocks and herds, even very much cattle. Everybody that came out of Egypt was not of the Hebrew nationality. You had Egyptians and all, but they were a part of the nation of Israel. Amen? So th these people dwelt together in love and unity among themselves. Right? This was the Exodus. All right, let's go to Numbers 12 and 1. And Miriam and Moses spake against Moses because of the Ethiopian woman whom he had married, for he had married. An Ethiopian woman. Now, this Ethiopian woman was really a what? Midianite. Now, Brother Romero is a Dominican, but he lived in America, so he's an American. It don't change his nationality. The Ethiopians took it over, and they were very violent people. And so people saw them as awful people. Amen? So they called her an Ethiopian because of where she came from, but she was a what? Midianite. She was a descendant of Abraham and Keturah. Her father was a Midianite priest. In the name of Jesus, okay? Keturah is a Hebrew name. Again, I know we can, we can choose a name from anywhere we want to choose it from. But back then, they weren't doing it. They was choosing names from their culture because when people heard those names, it separated them. It let you know where they were from. Their name represented them. They were from a mixed multitude. And if we remember, when Joshua killed the lady, he said, the, the uh, Egyptianitis woman, meaning she was a half Hebrew and half Egyptian, but he killed them both. Amen? So, so now, they didn't like Zipporah because she represented the Ethiopians of where she came from. Now, um, Zipporah is a Hebrew name as well. This is why they didn't like her. They didn't like her because don't y'all know that they knew who these people were? They just choose to say this as a dig or hurt because everybody know they, they, they bad people, they ignorant, they ain't ugly and all of this. They knew don't you know Moses sat down and talked with the priests and they found out who they were? Both of us come from the same lineage. But Moses came from the line of Sarah. Zipporah came from Keturah. See? So they considered the Hebrew bloodline to be more pure than Keturah's bloodline. 
because God said he'd make a great nation out of Sarah's child, Isaac. Saints of God, we don't have to look for ourselves in the Bible. We all in there. It was some Africans in the mixed multitude. They were prejudiced, not because of the color of her skin or her being an Ethiopian. They thought they was better than her because of who their lineage was. And the Levites were from a pure lineage. But we're all of the lineage of Jesus Christ today. We all fall under the line of Melchizedek in the name of Jesus. So don't look for favor because of this or anything else. You already have the favor of God. Have a blessed day in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Woo, glory.